My name is Mike Christie and it's been a very long time coming but I am the director of the new New Order concert film. Today is one of the final days of post-production on New Order, live at the Alexandra Palace. And we've been in editing and putting this film together for about three, four months now. It's been quite a long process because it's a slightly unusual concert film. So the interesting thing about making this film, or one of the many interesting things, was that, that New Order hadn't actually made a concert film for well over a decade. The, the thing I was trying to capture wasn't just the fact that, you know, they're brilliant musicians who are an incredibly tight band now, you know, but they've also got this really well-developed kind of visual spectacle, which has been put together over the course of a few years, and, and they've been working with a brilliant visual director called Warren Jackson, who's, you know, been working on the stage visuals with them. Virtually every single song has a different look, which is quite a feat in a set with, you know, 20-odd songs in it. Because it's such a kind of visual experience and, and it's such an amazing atmosphere, for me it wasn't just about capturing the concert and New Order being their kind of musical, brilliant selves. It was also really about trying to capture the experience. I decided to kind of take quite a guerrilla approach and go kind of quite handheld and kind of lots of different positions, but put lots of cameras in the crowd and then also use the visuals so, uh, as part of the actual kind of edited films. So at times, you know, it's quite intimate and it's rightly a concert performance, a live performance. You're watching, you know, five musicians playing brilliantly. But there are other times where the band sort of almost kind of drift back into the background of the production and the production takes over. In one moment you think, I'm watching a concert film. And then the next minute you kind of think you're at a rave, you know? There's so many moments I like in this show. It's hard because you've got to separate kind of the, you know the music that you love from the kind of the visual kind of uh, moments that, as a director, you're really sort of enjoying making. There's songs that I've always liked, but I've really learned to love making this film. Ultra Violence is one that, that stands out, which strangely I've always liked, but I really love now because I really like the the way it works in the film. And then uh, Regret, which has its own look, unlike anything else in the film. And um, I mean, for me, you know, one of the biggest kind of buzzes comes in Temptation, which is the last song before the, uh, before the encore. And it's about nine and a half minutes long. And there's just this incredible kind of unity where everybody is completely engaged. Everybody is completely in the moment. And there's this wonderful kind of connection going on between the band and the audience. What the film does is it kind of connects the visuals and the band and the audience all together. So you know, in that moment with, you know, 11,000 people you know, singing, the chorus of Temptation and the band kind of stop and, you know, the, the audience is going mad. The visuals are fantastic and um, the atmosphere is just off the scale and you, you know, you really, really feel like you're at the biggest New Order party ever thrown. You know, it's a great film to watch, you know, on a Friday night. It's, you know, it's over two hours long and um, it, it's, you know, put it on a big telly, turn it up and uh, you'll feel like you were there, I guarantee it. I don't think I've ever seen New Order as good as they were at the Alexandra Palace that night. And um, I think that's sort of extraordinary after all this time. They deserve a huge amount of credit for not just being kind of one of the most unique and original bands that Britain, if not the world, has ever produced. But also for doing that for four decades is extraordinary. Yeah.